Right, auto planners, it's that time of the night. Um, hope you're locked in, hope you're ready. Got a drink, it's gonna be a long one I think. 134 comments this time. So as always, your weekly review based upon the check-in in the support group. Um, I must say I'm exhausted and right now it's gone half past eight. Uh, got a lot of work going on in my house. Been cleaning two of the bedrooms down from top to bottom because we've had uh, beams, steel beams put in, then replastered over, and everything's been uh, mayhem. But we're all good, we're on it. So let's jump straight in. Oh, first off, first off, obviously this morning when I woke up, I had five notifications and I opened up the uh, group, the notifications, and it was five check ins from you guys. And five of them was all bang on. So we had a 100% success rate at that time. I clicked through and by the time I wrote a status, a few more people had jumped in with more. And I was like, this is fire today. So nice work. I hope you're all feeling as uh, buzzing about it as I am. But let's jump, jump straight in with this one. So first in through the door again. Regular as clockwork. Oliver Hoff Welton. 0.7 kg down. Chart is looking mint. Did his photos today, had a once over, a look over him. Uh, very, very positive movements this last week. The changes are more visible every single week now as we're getting through to the like leaner stages. Biceps cutting through, looks spot on. So, as always, no concerns, everything chipping away like it should be. Um, Oliver's a one-to-one -one client, I say this every week, just so people are aware that are additional work going on with Oliver outside of just group information obviously we can only give certain information on a group level if we started telling you the independent stuff that we work on with one-to-one -one clients it cause mayhem and confusion when the majority of people don't need the additional work so laura dora how been waiting for this post 0.8 kg down buzzing chat looks brilliant um I, i'm just gonna say like you've taken to this much better than i actually thought you would when we tried to get you in with a six week challenge, you hesitated first, you said you couldn't afford it, you wasn't sure, and you got in at the last minute, and I bet you are so grateful for it. Um, you've done extremely well, you've come right down on the chart. Um, I mean, you've only had one day where it, one check in where it paused, and then a big drop off, so it's all in line, all following a trend line consistently. Continue what you are doing. You don't need me to tell you any information other than just continue what you are doing. I'm confident your numbers are perfect for you, so just keep going, moseying on down. Don't know why I said that, that's weird. Um, also, I just want to say how how amazing it is. Like, I look at Laura's photo there, and it's 14 responses, 14 um, reactions, sorry. So, love arts, likes, and comments of support from each and every one of you. This group on its own is where the value is in your subscription. I don't know why anyone would, if you if you, if you you decide you can't afford the price that we put it at on a six month subscription and you leave, I think that missing out on the group and the interaction and the atmosphere and the support from other users, that'll leave a big hole in your life. And I guarantee those who drop out will be back before you know it. Um, Next up, Stacey K, 1.3 kg down. That's a big week. That's a huge week. Well done, mate. Congratulations. And the new stone bracket. <laughs> Congratulations. That's what it's all about, mate. Well done. Buzzing for you. Um, again, like another 12 reactions and loads of comments. It's just all fire. Uh, let's move on. Andy Smith, feeling great this week. Last week, weigh-in was 78.3. This week, 77.6, so we continued it down. Do believe that over a stone, you've lost over a stone in total from when you signed up. Absolutely buzzing. One more week left of the six-week challenge, then hopefully looking to start in the next step of my journey. Feeling positive, good luck. Yeah, really looking forward to that. As you said, I've said to you, multiple check-ins now. Um, I've spoke with John, um, and as long as you're comfortable, we'll sort it out. We'll get you in a group chat and then we'll uh, sort the price and then work on what we think you need uh, but that's where i think you'll see the biggest progress we'll have to get over a little few little boundaries a few little barriers and a few little things up here to get you through but we'll do it um 
Next up, Chris Lockham. Super amazed at this week's loss. Another £2 down. Nice work. Being on my own at work, so stressed and working long hours. Just goes to show, no matter what happens, your calorie counting does work. Absolutely, mate. Nice one. You've come through that sticking point. Now, two on a bounce. Perfect. Uh, I think, I think, yeah, that looks like a 10 kg. I'm just going to write that down now before I forget. Um, a 10 kg certificate will be made up and out to you, mate. Congratulations. That's big moves. Uh, there was another one, but we'll get through them and we'll see. Um, Hannah Barley. Yeah, so straight back off. Back into routine, weights continued. Like, that should give you the most reassurance ever that you had the time out with your family, you needed it, you went, I can't remember where you went, sorry. Um, but you went away, you had some time out, you was a little bit concerned, jumped straight on, back on, back on with it. And that goes for everyone else looking at that chart. You should see that Hannah's got a spike in the middle and then straight off. And that's like on the holiday, returning, and then just continuing. This is why it plays such a big role. Um, yeah, congratulations, Hannah. Uh, just keep it up again. Just continue what you're doing. You've got it in the bag. Sophie Lockham, feeling good. Is that two pounds down as well? Yeah, spot on. Um, two pounds down. Didn't get to my pre-holiday target, but it's okay. Only one pound left. Yeah, honestly, it seems to create this like resistance. I don't know whether it's uh, it's inside or whether it's mental or whatever. When you set a goal, it feels like a little bit hard to break through. But trust me, in a matter of like weeks or whatever, you'll be like on your way to the next target, and that'll be a distant memory. Um, I want, still want to track just to see how I do. Yeah, uh, not big drinkers, so it's going to be mainly food. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. You've already said it yourself. Put yourself on maintenance. Holidays are for enjoying. Expect a little gain. You're literally saying everything. That's perfect. Um, that on its own means, like, for me, you've got your value out of this service. The support is there. You've, you've listened to what we've told you over the duration, and you've perfectly picked up and changed your mindset to what may happen and what you should do th through like social events i don't need to say anything as long as you come back just crack on like like i just said with hannah crack on move your way back down it will not affect you at all uh kirsty crawford what a week incredibly poorly no exercise due to being poorly i've still remained on track and i'm another 0.7 kg down which i will absolutely take I'm starting to feel a little better, but on a night time, cough is irritating and causing really broken sleep. Only four more days on antibiotics. So let's have a look at your chart. Yeah, like you're the one that keeps proving me wrong when I say like a weight chart isn't supposed to be continuous down. Well done, mate. And um, entirely up to you, but you, uh, your recent photo that you sent me today is incredible. You've halved in size, like visually halved in size. So where are we? Seven... It's just over seven kilo down this minute. Well done, mate. Nice work. And you've got good energy in the group. Always there supporting the other users. And it, it's, it's, it's noted. Like Nick Wilkes, boom. Lost the holiday gains and a bit more. Feeling super good this week. Food, training and recovery have all been spot on. Everything is just so much better than it has been in a long while. I'm in a really good place to catch up on the next part of this journey. Well... There you go. Look at Nick's chart. Everyone who's listening, who's watching this video, go and look at Nick's chart. Now, people would have been terrified when they saw the two ups on a bounce, but Nick went away for two camping trips, separate to each other, and she knew what to expect. And like I said in the last check-in, if you want to go, go watch it, I said, carry on this week and we'll see it drop down. And we have. It's always the case. Remember what I've said about glycogen and everything. When we have the additional calories, the additional carbohydrates usually follow. Obviously, water binds to your glycogen. Um, that's all we're seeing there. And as soon as you've returned to your routine, we're seeing it dacker off straight away. Uh, congratulations, Nick. Also, it was good to catch up with you in the week in um, the gym and just you know go over what the goals are now for the new for the new project. So, um, Billy Johnson, down 0.2, happy with that. Going away on Monday till Friday. I'm already eyeing up the cocktail menu. I think I'm going to need it. Yeah, brilliant, mate. Obviously, 
I would set yourself to maintenance, expect a little bit of a gain, don't worry about the gain, just expect it, and then enjoy your holiday, get them cocktails in, don't don't stress over any of this. Obviously, if you can get a smarter choice and you fancy a smarter choice with it, do, don't, don't go stupid just for the sake of going stupid, but enjoy yourself, have a good uh, week away, and congratulations on your loss. Uh, Natalie Spence Godney. 1.4 kg loss this week, 5.5 centimetres off in measurements. That's uh, ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um, brilliant. I definitely think reducing my amitriptyline the past two weeks have contributed. It's had put on two stone lots taken them last year, or past year, sorry, uh, through sciatica. Nevertheless, I know in myself, I've had a massive improvement in your self-care and nutrition. Do you know what? I have noticed, obviously, you are a massive contributor to the database. Um, whenever we've said from when you had a resistance point and we said, look, ease off on your activity, drop in with this and you change things, you've listened, you didn't take it and, you know, like as an offensive thing, you didn't respond in a bad way or anything. You just did what was, what was uh, asked of you and you keep consistently dropping. So you had that resistance point, we made the, you know, the suggestions to change and things are dropping off perfectly, mate. You, you've done incredible. And it's really motivating for me when I get up in the morning and I see you're already on with your workouts and you've put your tagged us in it on upon us Instagram and you put it on your Facebook. I know that you're, you've set yourself up for, the good, for, for good for the day there. Uh, Dane Taylor, terrible week for me in terms of diet and training, but had an amazing few days away in London. Perfect, mate. Ready to get back to it and hopefully get that 5kg certificate before the challenge ends. Let's have a look at the damage. Oh, nothing, mate. What oh, is it even? 82.5 to 80. Yeah, so just, o just over a kilo. Normal, mate. That's absolutely normal. few days away um, with, with dieting at the back of your mind. Now all I would say is, just flick it back on like you've said, show us your food in the group this week, keep yourself accountable for the last week and that'll fall straight back off and then some. Um, so nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about but you already know that from what you've said. So Nikki Coggan is up next, two seconds. Wasn't expecting a lot this week so super pleased. My back, back and neck have been playing up, having about three, or five, three to five hours sleep a night. Haven't tracked food every day. But I've done what I can, which is steps. So average 13,000 steps a day. Just make sure you've not increased your steps to move away from tracking, because eventually that will work against you. Um, you track in, obviously we don't want it to be to the obsessive nature, but it still plays a massive role, especially early on in your journey. Um, and would like you to keep reminding yourself just to do it at the end of the day, so you know where you're at. Everyone starts like guessing and thinking they're all right, and it's the small things that creep in and push you over. Um, and plus, when you have success doing it for a, a week, you think, wow, there we go, it's easy, I can continue doing that. And then it bites you in the ass a couple of weeks later when it starts going the other way. Um, but uh, congratulations on your continued loss. Uh, Sharon Wynn up next. <coughs> All moving right way, which is down. Don't feel like I'm depriving myself of anything. <coughs> if I want it, just count it. Nice one. 8.5 pound down. Absolutely spot on, mate. What, um, obviously, you're going to see like uh, a few like rocks, rocky bumpy in your track. If you're rocky bumpy, rocks. I don't even know what to say there. Some ups and downs on your track. Oh, well, honestly, I give up. Ups and downs on your chart um, because on on the bounce you had two massive losses. So it's likely that's going to find its uh, level and move its way down. Um, oh, on your measurements, uh, just so you're aware. One of your measurements is obviously registered down at zero. You can delete that if you don't want your chart to look like you all of a sudden gained 100 centimetres or whatever. Um, you can go back and delete that one that is on zero and it'll clear them all and you'll have a fresh start down. But yeah, really good to see them on your chart, mate. Uh, congratulations. Beth Smith. Um, Bethany Smith, sorry. 0.3 kg down for me this week, taking my total to 17 kilos. 
I believe in English money. Uh, sorry, I, that sounded like you, you had no faith prior to this in English money. Um, 17 kg, I believe in English money. I'm just four pound away from three stone. Nice one. That's huge. 17 kg as well. Like, obviously do what you did before in the gym and hold 17 kg and just have a wander around and see how you feel. My big win this week was at boot camp on Wednesday when I was constantly pulling my leggings up because they are now too big. Some good looking charts again this week. Well done to everyone. Good luck for the last week of the challenge. Yeah, mate, positive all round. Absolutely buzzing. I mean, I don't want to jinx you. I don't want to say anything, but you, you're creeping fast to below the hundreds. And it's well within sight from how far you've come. And then obviously seeing how positive you were in the week with your dress comparison. So, like the, sorry, your photo comparison wearing the same dress. Um, you just know now, you know, to continue, carry on. No matter what these numbers are, you know, some, some weeks you'll have a bigger one, some weeks you'll have a littler one. It, it just progresses through and it's about just chipping away constantly. And to see you uh, putting that, um, your dinner, no, tea, whatever, in the group this week um, was brilliant. Because obviously where you've come from to where you are now, it was it was mostly veg. So nice work. Um Next one, I always do this. Victoria Louise, very happy this week. I am one pound away from reaching a personal goal. Congratulations, and a pound is nice and easily done. Ready to take on the last week of the challenge. Your chart looks brilliant as well. Only had one maintain, but before that and after that, you had two bigger losses, so the maintain was just, what I would say was where it's just in between. It, it, it wasn't even a maintain as such, it was just timing. Uh, congratulations and I hope you smash that personal goal of yours. Remember, remember everyone. So remember, remember, 5th of November. No, uh, remember that this is not just about a six week challenge. We use a six week challenge to get you in through the door and then learn the basics of what we teach. So you start learning this and then after the six weeks, you've still got the remainder of your subscription. That's if you choose to leave. You've still got the remainder of your subscription to continue what we've taught you. So don't feel like the six weeks is a finish line and you've got to stop. We need to make sure that we continue after that. And, you know, the six weeks is just your first starting point with us. It's your entry point into the auto planner. You see how powerful this tool is from this day onwards, from the end of the challenge and continue. <coughs> um, Kate Allen, welcome on board. Uh, pleasure to have you. Completely new here and trying to find my feet a little still. Don't worry, that's absolutely normal. Like we say, a big thing that I like to try and push is this is six months in your subscription. We, we we get it all the time where people feel like within two or three days they need to have mastered everything. You'll be unearthing little features that will serve you well even two or three months into your subscription. So don't feel like all of a sudden you need to have learned it all. As long as you know how to navigate round it'll slowly come you'll pick some new feature and go oh that's what that does or you'll see someone else in this group or amy's videos on tiktok and instagram and our facebook page showing you little features so anyway it's all about just spending time in here spending time on the app and just understanding it anyway i'll crack on started on tuesday so from tuesday to now that's a 1.4 kg loss already and you've eaten out you was on Slimming World for a year and lost three stone, but since having an operation in March, you've put back on over a stone. I was extremely bored of living off salad and vegetables constantly and then having a treat and feeling guilty afterwards. Literally, what you've said there sums up exactly what we're trying to create. We want to fix people's relationship with food. We want to show them a simple way where you can still enjoy all your favorite foods. And if you stick to these basic rules, you'll continue to lose weight. There will be, there will be weeks and there will be check-ins where your weight either pauses and sometimes goes up. But if you listen to everything that we say to the, all the other users and watch some of the videos that I put in the group, you'll soon understand why and why it's nothing to worry about. Um, this week I've still eaten bars of chocolate and the occasional cake, but not felt any guilt at all because you know it's all counted. Looking forward to the next week. Literally the perfect introduction. Um, 
well done, congratulations, and let's see how you get on over the next few weeks and months. Um, ben Troop, so he's jumped straight in with a 3kg loss. Nice one, Ben. Buzzing for you. Um, you haven't said much, but I hope you're feeling all right, and if we need any information from you, obviously feel free to share it. But to have a 3kg loss straight away early on within your first week, absolutely buzzing mate if you've got any questions as always same as anyone that's watching the video make sure you leave them in the group we'll always get back to you there's a q a post that appears on monday morning in the group um so just leave any questions on there um next up victoria isabel um 0.2 kg gain this week for me had a little girl's trip had a little girl's trip and wasn't as focused on calories but opted for healthier options instead still happy but you've had two so if you look at your chart, you can already see a pattern where it's come down, then gone up a little bit, then come down, then gone up a little bit. So make sure you are tighter on your numbers. Make sure you are paying a little bit more attention because there are a lot of little things that contain more calories than you will be aware of. So <laughs> anything, you know, like certain oils and stuff, they contain a hell of a lot of calories and you aren't even aware you've had them on a salad, for example. Um, but yeah. So just make sure that you do start paying attention and you do put, put them on just so you don't start going back the wrong way without being aware. Um, but I wouldn't be worried. It's, it's a continuation and it looks like the pattern is exactly the same as it has been previously. So nothing to worry about. Joanne Salmon, 0.7 kg loss this week. That's 3.2 kg in total. Absolutely buzzing. Um, Again, continued losses on the bounce. So um, you've been a big part of this group already. You came through the doors, jumped straight on board, asked a few little questions, and then you've cracked on and you've done exactly what we want. And I hope this continues for you. As always, if you have any uh, questions, reach out. What I'm gonna do quickly for a few people, um, anyone watching, so the rules are obviously, um, if you're watching this, on YouTube please go and subscribe to us it costs you nothing please give us a like it also costs you nothing and then leave a comment saying thank you for taking the time to do this Martin or uh, team auto planner or team shape changers whatever it needs to be a comment a like and a subscribe really helps our channel obviously we're a tiny little company based on Barton upon a Humber and any sort of support we get on social media really really helps us reach more people but, 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 but my big plea to you guys, obviously we have the free group called Slimming Made Easy. Um, and this is where we have like nearly 2,500 people now. These are all people who are watching us, trying to understand if we're the real deal. So when we put posts out there, they'll be a little bit hesitant to believe us. They'll look at it and go, who's this guy? I've never heard of him, never seen him. Maybe these are his friends that are just lying and putting the, you know, uh, results in however the more we prove that we are consistent the more that we prove we support you we guide you we educate you we teach you we show you everything and we give you a tool that will get you the results consistently the more they are likely to pay attention and perhaps come and join this community and build to the amount of people we can help the dream is to have like thousands of people in here all getting the results that you're getting and we can only do that with your help now, all I'm asking is that in that free group, the Slimming Made Easy group, if you've had great success, you're happy with this service that we deliver you, that you just go and look, like tomorrow, Sunday is a great day for this, just drop your chart in the group and say, 3.2 kg loss this week, feeling really good, set for another week. And that as many of you that do that, each one is a little confirmation to anyone who's sitting on the fence about joining and then they're feeling hesitant and they're like, mm, don't know if this is a real deal. We want them to see your results and know that you're an honest person and you're a real person and to see that results and think, I want in on that. I want to see what they're doing. And we'll bring them through the door and we'll continue this and we'll have bigger and bigger and bigger check-ins every single week. So if you can do that for us, I would be very, very grateful. Uh, back on, Justin Setterfield. 0.25 kg loss this week. Um, again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six on the bounce. <coughs> Congratulations, mate. Obviously, I saw you this morning. 
But yeah, uh, keep making sure you're on form with your numbers and everything. Um, we'll see that continue down the way it has done. Um, Karen Percy, uh, back up. You had a good holiday, mate. I'm very happy with this small weight gain because I've been on holiday for 10 days, eating some delicious food and drink alcohol every day. That is what a holiday is for. Um, I was very worried about the food choices that I would have while away. I was dreading getting back on those scales again because in the past I've gained at least a stone. After listening to Martin about holiday weight and continuing from where I left off when I returned, it has worked. When I returned on Monday, I was 11 stone 8, and this was all the bloating and not real fat gain, as I have dropped back to 11 stone 4. Nice one. So happy. So only two pounds. Boom. Thanks for the advice. Absolutely welcome, mate. Um, I, know, I know what people feel like, and I know how it can set you wobbling and panicking, but trust me, another week another two and it's really good because i know you were getting to a grinding point as well where the holiday was so close you've lost a lot of weight it came at the right time but like that week before was like i've got to get through now you come back full of energy you've had a holiday you, you know exactly what to do you're not starting from miles away where you're learning everything again you've already got that knowledge so you you're basically landing on your feet and running and um like I say, another week or two, and you'll be at your new lowest low. So, yeah, and you had a good holiday. It's a win-win. Uh, next up, uh, John Constable. I swear I've just missed someone who's had a certificate. I do apologise if I miss anyone. If I ever miss anyone, you've seen the amount of comments, and we do it all manually. So just send me a message and say, Martin, I ain't had my 5kg. What are you playing at? And I will sort it for you, I promise. Uh, a drop down from last week, 0.5 kg down. And to be fair, I had a pizza last night and a cheesecake, both of which are on the auto planner. Now I know which pizza you had as well. Um, most of the time in the past, I would have felt guilty for this, but this isn't the case anymore. Enjoy your food, be smart with your choices and enjoy the process. Honestly as well, same as Ollie, if you've seen the condition that we've got John in so far and how lean we are getting him on the way to this comp and he's telling you he's 0.5 kg down, he's had pizza and he's had a cheesecake, then you know this shit is real. Uh, congratulations mate. Ken Liu, feeling okay with these re results but still feel like I need to get my ass into gear and get better with meal prepping for the week. Going on a day sesh today, so feeling like this will have an impact on today, on next week's results. So even more reason to be mindful of what I eat the next day. Um, yeah, you, you, uh, I don't know what you're worried about, mate. You, you've got your lowest weight. You've matched it there. Um, nothing to be concerned about. Getting five or six consistent days. I don't know why I've this, got this one. Five or six consistent days after this. Um, is, you know, it will see you bringing it back in tighter. So just make sure that you're logging everything. You don't have to necessarily be meal, meal prepping, sorry. Being a little bit prepared will always serve you well, but um, just making sure that whatever you eat, whatever you drink is logged and seeing how close you are to your numbers will give you a clearer sense of where you are. Uh, Hannah Garrett, little loss for me, happy with how this is going. I feel amazing losing weight and eating foods I love. Like, that's our slogan, pretty much. That's our motto, isn't it? Um, yeah, again, nice one continued down. Uh, little loss, I don't even, from the chart, I don't know how little it is. But anything, you're just chipping away. And you've done really well anyway. Obviously, you're the photos for our six-week challenge. You're the photo on our current cover photo, I think, on the group and the Slimming Maze Easy welcome message. Um, and that's credit to your results. That's because of how well you've done. So continue exactly what you're doing. Enjoying good food and losing weight that, on a diet that doesn't feel like a diet. Ashley Conlin, wow, look at all these comments. Well done, everyone. You're all doing amazing. Very small loss for me today, which is expected. A 0. Point... Pack it in. 0. 0.3 kg loss is not small. Obviously, on your chart, it maybe looks small to you right now. That's not small. Pack it in. You've done very well. And that's after you're having a blip in the week where you panicked and thought things have gone wrong. So, listen to me now, if you get an, another week in the bag, that'll come down right quick. 
um, you didn't you didn't ruin it that reassures you you didn't ruin it I hope the videos helped you and they're there for everyone uh, congratulations Charlotte Rose didn't check in last week because I didn't get to weigh in myself until Tuesday it's been a rough week I've barely eaten barely slept and barely worked out but we keep moving you've fallen off the chart mate um, obviously by what you've said it's probably not in the best way uh, but just try and tuck it in a little bit and make sure obviously I can't really advise you too much you've got a young baby and everything um, but when you can obviously track it where you can but yeah uh, I would take it as a win <laughs> so congratulations mate Rachel Trousdale didn't get weighed today but it's been a reasonable week I've been more prepared with my meals yeah, that's all positive. I can't really give you any feedback, mate, based upon no information from yourself. Um, 0.5 kg loss for Joanne Snedden Eggert. Uh, really pleased with the progress so far. Well done, team. Uh, that's a big loss. Um, actually, for some reason, I had you down as a smaller loss. Sure, I must have calculated it a little bit different then. Um, however, congratulations. And... Uh, have have a good weekend away uh, the camera looks like it's about to crash so i'm apologize i'll apologize in advance if it does crash it's gone all laggy uh, but i'll just keep going until it crashes is it working yeah um tracy moxon a slight increase of 0.1 kg i can't believe how this app and group have supported me in my mindset previously i would be giving up now thinking that's it i failed what's the point but now I'm like, you haven't failed. I haven't failed. Sorry, it's a journey. I'm doing okay. Look at the progress, not the failures. Let's have a look at your chart. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> yeah, If you look at your chart and you was to grab, like, draw a straight line through all of your check-ins, you would see that your last check-in was bigger than normal. So that's why this one is slightly up. It's just because you had a slightly bigger than normal. It's following its trend line. I've mentioned trend lines before. If you want to go through a few checking videos or you would like to do some more detail on that, sorry, I will do. But your trend line is on point. So you haven't failed. You, I wouldn't even class it as a gain. It's a slight gain on weight in numbers, but I wouldn't say there's any fat gain whatsoever. So get another solid week in the bag and we will see that on the next check-in. Do not be concerned. Uh, you're doing amazing. Look at your chart. You only have to open that any time that you're feeling like doubtful about your journey and your progress. Just open up that chart, take a look at it and go, nah, I'm doing all right, actually, because you are. Andy Smith. Thought I'd done yours. Oh, right. Martin will always tell you, as he's told me and my wife, if you're going on holiday, don't worry, enjoy it. This will always be here when you get back. Yeah. Uh, as Beth said, who are you even talking to? But I assume you was responding to someone and it's just come up below. Um, that's it. Uh, we're there. So please don't leave just yet. Please don't stop the video. Um, again, I'm just going to ask again, please, please, please use the free group. So the uh, Slimming Made Easy group on Facebook to share your stories, your uh, photos, if you dare, your charts, your measurements. Just let other people know because... We know from experience people are paying a lot more for coaches that are teaching them shit. And we know that they're paying a lot more for services, groups, slimming clubs and what have you. No names mentioned. Um, that are not giving them adequate information and support. And also using little code words for uh, foods and demonizing certain food groups that are damaging to long-term success and we want to make sure we are there for enough people and we have people have access to us and they understand the service that they get and they know the results are real so if you can at all please do use the slimming made easy group and leave your results and your charts in there and just say great week uh you know lots of fun thanks for the auto planner and that but again, if you're watching this on YouTube, please go subscribe, like, and comment. I've turned into an influencer. I'm an influencer now. Go, go subscribe to our uh, YouTube. Give us a like and give us a comment. It costs you nothing, but it really does help us get into the algor algorithm. I'm saying influencer and algorithm. I don't know who I've become. But great week, guys. 
Uh, let's get another one in the bag. This has probably been our most consistent for results. Our um, we only saw two or three people go the opposite way on the chat and none of them were anything to be concerned about. So I'm very happy with the group as a whole. Keep supporting each other and keep sharing our posts on Facebook and Instagram. Peace!